Hi there, it's Karen Erickson with the Everett Farmers Market, and I'm here today to update you on what's been going on with the farmers market. As you probably may have noticed, things are looking a little bit different. We've kind of evolved over the month of May. On the 3rd of May, we started the farmers market as a pre-order drive-through pickup market simply because our community wanted to see what that would be like. We do have to follow the guidance of Snohomish Health District and the state. And so we had also applied to become a walk-in market. And so on the third Sunday of May, we were allowed to do a walk-in market. This Sunday, May 31st, will be our fifth market of the 2020 season, and it will continue to be a walk-in market. How can we be a farmer's market? Aren't we an event? And we are deemed, farmer's markets are deemed as essential business. We are a food market like a grocery store. We support local growers and local food processors and the Everett Farmers Market is not considered to be an event. As an essential business, however, we must continue to comply with guidance and directives for maintaining a clean and safe work environment, which is issued by the Snohomish Health District. And we must maintain social distancing and make those measures to the best extent that we possibly can. It also means that there can only be so many people in the marketplace that would be vendors and customers in order for us to meet that social distancing needs. So what does that look like? Well, we have two entrances to the market. We are urging customers to either enter at Ewan and Wetmore or at Pacific and Wetmore. Once you get to one of those entrances, there will be an Everett Farmers Market staff person to welcome you to the marketplace and they will go over these things with you. Are you feeling well or have you had a fever? Have you been exposed to anyone who has been sick? Did you remember to make a shopping list? There are no public restrooms in the marketplace and there are no pets in the marketplace unless they are ADA certified. There is no dining inside the marketplace. All food, bakery items, kettle corn need to be taken outside of the market, eaten in your car or for a picnic or to be taken home. We are encouraging you to have one shopper per family, to meet up with your family after you shop at the market for your day outing. But we are trying to limit the amount of people that come into the marketplace. You will be advised that vendors will be wearing masks and gloves and you will be encouraged to do so. There also is a no touch policy. We are asking that you tell your vendor what items you would like and they will hand them to you and then you will pack them in your to-go market bag. We will be asking you to remember social distancing as you walk, to follow the arrows, and to wait to shop with the vendor of your choice. Of course, if you have any questions, you're welcome to talk to the Everett Farmers Market staff and then they will click you in and they will count you in the marketplace. Both entrances of the market are connected with walkie talkies so we knew how many people are in the market at one time. So the idea is to get into the market to shop and to leave so others can shop at the farmers market too. There are only four hours, one hour less, and so we're trying to get as many market shoppers into the marketplace as possible and keeping our social distancing. 
So what else is different? Well, the market is open from 11 to 3 p.m. on Sunday. And know that we're still located in downtown Everett on Whitmore. So that's the same. The market is shorter by one hour, so it's only from 11 to 3 p.m. And we are planning to operate from May through October. We will be having a special half hour before the market opens from 10.30 to 11 for high-risk seniors and special needs. This also includes expected mothers and ADA customers. We are asking that you be respectful and you honor this time. We're not going to be asking you to see your card or driver's license. And we just want those people to feel that they're not at risk to come to the market. We will be offering EBT. Um, and you can come to do that at the headquarters booth. We will not be having tokens this year for EBT. We will be handing out vouchers. There will also be the SNAP Match program, which is right here. The SNAP Match program is an incentive program for fruits and vegetables, and we will be matching EBT customers when they come to swipe their cards at the booth. There will not be any tokens sold, no debit and credit tokens this year, because they are hard to clean. So we are advising that you, the customer, bring cash to the market or that you plan to bring your card so it can be swiped. And it's pretty amazing the ideas that vendors have in order to do that, that you guys can all keep your social distancing. Also, please remember, there are banks all over downtown Everett, and if you shouldn't have enough cash, you can go over and get the cash from any of the ATM machines that are right there, right at the marketplace. So let's talk about pre-orders and vendors. So every week, we update the vendor list. We try to make sure that the vendors who are coming will be on the list and that you'll be able to locate them. Realize that vendors plan to come and then something happens and then they're not there. But the best thing to do is to go to the website everfarmersmarket.com and to check out and see who's going to be at the market. And then this way you can also make your list. So I'm going to scroll down a minute just to show you right here on the Sunday on the on the website, you'll see Sunday Vendors, and if you click on Sunday Vendors, every week that's going to be up to date. So I click that on, and then you scroll down, and you're going to see the date that we've updated. So this is May the 31st. And that's how you're going to know that this list is up to date. There may be other things sent out. You may be looking at a list from May the 3rd, which only has 10 vendors on it. You want to make sure that you're seeing the correct date. So in this case, today's would be May 31st. So why would you pre-order? I also have pre-order here. Why would you pre-order? Well, you could pre-order and make your shopping experience faster. Remember we talked about only so many people can be in the market at one time. So if you pre-ordered, you would cut down the time that it would take to be in the marketplace. Also, if you're a high risk person and you don't want to come to the market, you could go through this list and find out who would take pre-orders and you can send someone else to the market to pick it up for you. Also with the pre-order experience, you could pay online with your credit card so you have least amount of touch risk at the marketplace. So this Sunday, for example, we have, it looks like we have about 50 vendors that are going to be coming. Oh, here's somebody that's only doing a pre-order and that's Waxwing. And in this case, Waxwing is accepting pre-orders online till Friday at 5 p.m. And there may be another. Ah, here's Shrub Farm. 
they are accepting pre-orders online till Friday at noon. So you want to go through and you're going to want to see who isn't coming to the market that week and that you would pre-order with them. And if you pre-order with them and they're not there, your products will be in the community zone at the headquarters booth. Again, you're going to also see that there's food to go. We do have food to go. We know you love our food to go vendors. You will purchase your food and you will take it with you. You will leave the marketplace. We don't have any dining. We have no chairs. We aren't a restaurant. We're not licensed to be a restaurant at this time. So we ask that you take your food to go and take it with you home or on your picnic. Last but not least, you're going to notice that not all 100 vendors are at the market. We just can't get 100 vendors into the marketplace and keep the social distancing. So we have created a virtual marketplace for all those other vendors that you can go shopping with them. So if you go to the home page of the Everett Farmers Market and you go up to the top, you'll find a, a bar here for you to click on that says Virtual Marketplace. And if I click that on, hopefully it will go to the right place. Here it's going. Ah, and here it is. It's at the virtual marketplace. And here you're going to find all kinds of vendors. Right now we have 25 vendors who can't be at the market because we're an essential market, meaning food, food goods. But you'll find 25 vendors right here. And we are adding vendors every day of those who are not with us. This you can find at everettfarmersmarket.net. But if you click on from the regular website, it will go right to it. We want to say thank you so much for understanding how much we appreciate your support. We continue to comply with the guidance and directive from Snohomish Health District and do as our city would want us to do. We are going to maintain social distancing and we ask that you help us do that. We are so happy that we can be open, not in the capacity as we have been in the past, but that we can be open safely to operate the Everett Farmers Market for you, the Everett community. If you should need to ask any questions, feel free to write us at everettfarmersmarket at gmail.com. Well, I think I've done that in a short period of time, so I'm going to say it's a wrap, and we'll see you at the market.